All right, so today I want to talk about the um, four chariots or the horsemen of Israel, like you can see, primarily dealing with Zechariah, but there's more to it. Um, so I'm going to start, actually, I'll start off again with this chart. This is something, again, count the, this is just another way of, of going over again what my other videos have gone over. So, I mean, this is the four mountains plus the three you see that? And that's the seven mountains total. But anytime you have a brass mountain, again, Papal Rome or Greece, or Papal Rome again, or literal Babylon, again, it's just brass and iron, brass and iron. I'll, I'll show you a quick reference to that as Tubal Cain was the instructor of bronze and iron. You see that? And he is... Um, what in like uh say Mas masonic lore tubal cane is he's their guy okay it's the two balls and a cane or the 007 um like james bond right okay you can go in more and more than that but anyway that's all they have is bronze and iron bronze and iron so then you have like when elisha went up in the whirlwind again the or sorry elijah went up in the whirlwind again the veil came off the mantle and it went to elisha i gotta new, do another one of elisha but that's why they called him baldy elisha and then the 40 the two bears went after the 42 uh kids or youths or whatever who were making fun of uh, him for being bald so that after the 42 months the veil comes off and that's why elisha was made fun of for being a baldy Okay, see, so when he went up to heaven, the chariot, suddenly the chariots appeared with horses of fire. Okay, and separated the two of them. And also, I want to make another point. Before they did that, they crossed over the Jordan on dry ground. So any time, why do you think the brazen laver was made out of brass? Any time you have a brass kingdom, it's considered a sea or water. Anytime you have an iron kingdom, it's considered dry land. That's why you had the, again, my other videos, that's why you had the land beast coming from dry land, because that was iron. You see that versus the sea, again, is a brass. So just like, again, I've said this so many times, it's like you have day one, except Jesus, day two, is no, two through three, you go down into the abyss, a.k.a. the... Um, the sea you go like the belly of the whale for the three and a half days and you come out on dry land you see that that's what happens so again the 1260 during the dark ages they go through it and they come out on dry land and that's 1798 and again on my other chart that i've had this one you can see the same concept except starts in 7 uh, 19 so three and a half years ago pretty much exactly of december of 20 uh, 22, mid-December, I should clarify. So you go through it, and then you come out on dry land, okay? See that? So again, same right there, 1222. That's now the dry land, and that's when the land beast is going to create or uh, enforce the death decree, right? See, something else I want to point out is that other Ezekiel vision... Uh, or sorry, Zechariah, I think I said Ezekiel, sorry, Zechariah, is going to be of the other horses. There was two visions of horses, right? You have this one with the hollow. So it was red, red, sorrel, white, right? You can see it here. He was on a red horse followed by red, uh, followed by red, sorrel, that's bright red. Um, so in the hollow, what do you think the hollow is? It's these. These are the hollows, okay? So there's uh, three or four, depending on how you count them. Again, that's dealing with the, either the seven or the eighth king, okay? That's that little nuance there. But anyway, each hollow is whenever the land beast, the two-horned land beast, again, the two horns, creates an image to the first beast, that's the sea beast, or Rome, or, or sorry, papal Rome, and that becomes the, that's why they're, they're blood red. So again, the first one was Persia. That's dealing with Esther because Esther means myrtle. Look it up. Okay. 
Second one was Rome. That's when church and state, so again, Persia, Rome, that's when church and state united to kill Jesus. And then you have Nero and all of that, right? Before that, there really wasn't terrible that much persecution. I mean, Rome and, and Herod, they, they were managing Jerusalem fairly decently. But again, when Jesus died, you could say, I might have to do another one on this chart, but when Jesus died, church and state united. And, okay, and then you have all those Think about Herod killing the babies, too. That's something else to think about, right? So then it's the same concept. You see that? So again, church and state unite. That's a hollow. The bright red would be that's the, that's the Sunday law. So maybe that's why it's the worst of them all, right? And that's going to be here or here, again, depending on how you want to count them, okay? So that's the three reds. Now I want to go over the other ones. So if you look in Zechariah uh, 6, is where this is going to start, is it talks about they came from the two mountains of brass. Okay, think about it, two mountains of brass. Again, in this one, it probably would have been here. But you can, it's, it's a cycle that repeats itself. So you can pick any two brass mountains you want, okay? Again, in this, in this scenario, it was Greece because this was written right after... Um, the Babylonian captivity, right after the 70 years, right? You can see that over and over, Zach. Zach. So that's going to be Greece. Uh, probably Greece and Rome, particularly. Okay? So, Papal Rome, I should say. So, you've got them coming, and they look at their stations. This is key. Okay, so, they're, so Greece was in the west. So they're coming from the west. That's the red one, okay? All right, first chariot were red. Doesn't say where they go. It just assumes it just comes through the two mountains of bronze. Then you have black. Third was white. And fourth was dappled. Okay? Dappled would be like kind of grayish. Um, it says dappled and bay and... I think it says bay and dappled in King James. It just says two for that one. Uh, but anyway, that's so that's kind of gray. Think about that. Okay, then it talks about the stations. These are the four spirits, right? These are the four horsemen that Elijah, okay? That I was talking about earlier. One is black, gone to the north. The white are going after them. The dappled gray are going toward the south. Okay, it doesn't say anything about the red, so we're gonna assume that it's, it was in the west, okay? Strong steeds, eager, go to and fro. Okay, then it says he's given rest to my spirit in the north country. That's probably talking about because Babylon fell, right? That I mean, that's in the direct context. Let's talk about the context we care about. So this is kind of a map of them. So you've got the red in the west. You've got the, I I put it green, because if you look in the King James, or sorry, in the, um, the look up the Greek when it talks about the pale horse, because the again, the pale is kind of, in Revelation it talks about the four horsemen. That's more from a Babylonian slash judgment perspective. But granted, it does say green. But I put green for another reason, too, is because, think about it, that's the word of God. Think about when you, um, like, like here's a good example of it. Remember when you get the Stephanos, the crown of victory, right? That's green. So the green is also the, um, the word of God, right? That's the food. That's during the three and a half years in the wilderness. By the way, 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to know, understand any of this. You can watch it if you want. This is really for that 0.1% who walk through this and know what this is talking about. But granted, you can be amused by it because it's probably going to mean nothing to you. But anyway, so that's why it's the green. Because green is synonymous with life, obviously, or hope. But also, it's, that, it's also the moon. So that's the moon rising up. Okay, but I'll get to that in a, in a second here. So... You've got the red in the west. You've got the bay went to the south. Okay. You've got black and white going to the north. Like right, right, right there. So this is the shape. Ironically, it's a time. It's also like a, a sand dial, right? Um, this is the shape that happens. And again, this shape is from like the cherubs and... Um, uh, Revelation, right? Now we're talking about that. You can tell which where they are based on the white horse going east to west, the red horse going west south. See that? Remember that? And then the black horse going north on a northeast. Same. The pale, the gray or pale or green go on a north, and black go on a north south. These ones, the white and reds, go on the 
the um, east-west, but there's kind of a wild card, if you will, where the red can go on an angle. Because that's never, that's the three and a half days. Um, where's my other chart? I just showed it. That's that three and a half days in the belly of the whale. You see that? Remember how I said in my other video, that's kind of the 1260? So, and the no good on day two. So the red can go like this and the white can go like this. So the white, remember how the black and white went north? The white is gonna go to its station because remember, it's in the middle of a cycle. Remember, this is a cycle that repeats. So why it was up north is because it depends where it was in the cycle. Are you in a hollow or are you on a peak? Like I said, this cycle, this one through seven cycle, whatever you want to say, all the week cycle, it just repeats. So then we can assume, so the white was up north, now it can go there. The red, well, we're going to leave it west because that's where it was in the sorrel or the, sorry, the bay was to the south. Okay, got them, I got their positions. What's going on is, again, it's like this. You, you take the gospel, you see Jesus, that's day one. Again, it's the sign of Jonah. I'm going to do it again, all right? stuff right again this symbol okay or sign so what you do this is day one you take him then you go to the labor that's no good on day two then you get the bronze labor that's the red so then you get on this horse takes you over here that's the that one Okay, again, I remember the white one is right there. We talked about that. Then you ride it. That's the 1260. That's the no good. You ride it down. Again, it's kind of like these ones have wild cards. They're on that plane. So then it can go down here. Okay? Then after the three and a half years or toward the end, you have, what I was talking about earlier, you have the silver. That's kind of why it's gray or the moon. So then, or the morning star rising in your heart, again, talked about that earlier, that's the brass. Jesus, he has brass feet in Revelation. We have, the church has silver feet because the moon is silver. Then you go up and you stay up like you're rising like the moon. Okay, you see that? That's why you have the chariot spiritually of Israel taking up Elijah at the end of the 3.5. You see what I'm saying? Again, that's the 3.5 or the 1260. So right in the middle of the 3.5 or toward the end, you start the rolls are reversed, right? So that's why you ride this one, the bay, the moon, the silver up to the top. Now, and then you then you can say the cycle just repeats itself again, or you can just say you stay at the top for, and then you get your clothes with the sun. You stay at the top for day, um, or for trumpet six and seven. Okay, what do they do? This is what they do. They, again, they reverse everything, so they're doing this sign. They're going the opposite direction, and they up, see that? It's the opposite, that's the goal. So they go day one, okay? See that? So they're going this way. They're going west to east. They get the white in their mind, the false messiah, or they turn male, and they go up to the top. See that? And that's, what's at the top waiting for them? It's the black one or the black sun. That's what the Jesuit logo is. Look up the Jesuit logo. It's a black sun. And then they go, they fall, their false brass falls and turns into iron. You see that? When they peak that, our low is their peak. You see that? So then it becomes eclipsed. Why do you think you see all of this notion of the moon eclipsing the sun? What happens? What's a black sun? It's when the, it's a solar eclipse when the moon gets in front of the sun. So as they're passing by, the rolls are revert. You see that? So that's when the moon, the silver, is passing the sun, the black, the judgment. And then it, you see that eclipses it. The sun turns dark like sackcloth. Okay? And then you stay at the top. And then now, now they're at the bottom. They're going to do this again for five. They're going to try their little peak again. Um, you, can, you can view this 
backwards or upside down and that's their little peak when church and state the land beast again land dry land makes an image again and it's going to be reversed again you see that so they're going to go five six seven you see that five six seven eight or what if you want to put eight again depends again that's the little nuance there so that's i'm gonna to have to do another part two on this but that's what's going on with the chariots of israel there's actually a lot more to this